State Senator Angela Paxton will stand by her man as a juror. She released a statement saying the Texas Constitution requires her to attend the impeachment trial of her husband, Attorney General Ken Paxton. She also said that she will attend because her constituents deserve it. Here to talk about this, Democratic analyst Ed Espinoza and Matt Makoviak, chair of the Travis County Republican Party. Matt Makoviak, the senator says she is duty bound to be a part of this impeachment of her husband. Do you think there's a conflict of interest? Well, it's technically true that she is required to be there. The Constitution says that all senators must be present through the entirety of any impeachment trial. Uh, she obviously faced a choice. She released a statement, um, and we'll see whether the Senate rules uh, speak to uh, whether there's a, a, a process for, for a conflict to be adjudicated. This is not a court of law. Um, this is really a, 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 a political court in a sense. Uh, they will be considering very serious charges, but they're coming up with their own rules, rules of evidence, uh, rules that, that, that apply in a court of law uh, are not necessarily at play here. So while I think on, on a certain level, you could you could say it's a conflict. She's uh, his wife. She has personal knowledge. She has personal feelings and emotions about uh, everything at play here. I also think it's fair and true to say that a million or so Texans would not have representation in the Senate trial if she were to not participate. She has not said whether she will vote. She has said she will participate. And Espinoza, this question of is there a conflict of interest, what's your take on that? Any, any rational Texan would tell you that there is absolutely 100% a conflict of interest because let's face reality here, Mike. Angela Paxton's vote is predetermined before any of this happens. We know that she is going to devote to defend her husband, the attorney general, while he's under impeachment. But I don't think any rational person is going to say otherwise. And while she may have a duty to represent her people, the Senate also has a duty for an impartial administration of justice, which by the way, is one of the things that Ken Paxton is being impeached for. So I think that this is a problem. I don't know what the solution is. I do think the Senate is, I wish the Senate would have some sort of obligation to come up with a solution. But unfortunately, you've got 31 jurors and 30 who are impartial in this situation. Matt Makoviak, is this impending trial causing conflict within the GOP or the entire Texas legislature? I think the answer to that's yes. There's no question. You had this uh, dropped on the House uh, the last week of the regular session, having had the investigation be conducted in secret. Um, they had very little time to review the investigation, very little access to the materials the investigators uh, found and secured. Um, and they debated this for only a matter of hours uh, with really no due process for General Paxton and his defense team. The Senate, I think, is going to be totally different. And we, we are waiting to see what the rules are going to be. Are there rules of evidence? Will witnesses be allowed? Will the Attorney General be asked to or be allowed to testify? Will there be a motion to dismiss for summary judgment at the beginning? These are all important questions that we expect to hear uh, answers on in the next 12 to 24 hours. But yes, this has been a divisive issue. Uh, within the Republican Party. You had 61 Republicans in the House vote to uh, advance the impeachment. You have whatever the other number, you know, 20 or so Dem uh, Republicans say no. You had every Democrat vote to advance the impeachment. So, Ed, this idea that people don't prejudge uh, and come to a certain conclusion and that there's no politics here, I think, is pretty ridiculous. Okay. Ed Espinosa, a real quickly final word from you. Matt might say it's ridiculous, but the House committee that charged, that recommended he be impeached was three Republicans and two Democrats. It's actually a closer House split than people seem to realize. But every Democrat could have not voted or voted the opposite way, and Ken Paxton still would have had a recommendation okay. to impeach because all Republicans were doing that. And look, only 30 percent of the Republican primary, think, uh, primary voters think that Paxton is innocent here. The other 70 percent? Not so sure, and this is why he had so many primary challengers going back okay. two years ago. All righty, well, we're going to follow every development in this case. We're out of time. Gentlemen, thanks very much. Thanks. thanks.